The hurdles at Toronto's Pearson Airport have also been identified, but instead of finding solutions, there was more finger-pointing today, adding to mounting frustration after some very public criticism from a high-profile passenger. CTV's Heather Wright on the troubles in the terminal. Expectations for those traveling through Toronto's Pearson Airport right now are low. But I don't know if I'm going to be 20 minutes or two hours. For more than a month, Canada's busiest airport has been experiencing significant backlogs and delays. I was expecting worse. But how bad things are really depends on the day. As travel ramps up, the airport simply can't handle any unexpected passenger surges. This is the worst airport on earth. After being delayed for more than 18 hours, former NHL player Ryan Whitney posted this video, bringing international attention to Pearson's struggles. Yeah, look, first of all, I know how frustrating it is for passengers who are being delayed at airports. Uh, and it's particular at Pearson Airport. Believe me, we're on the job. Transport Canada says worker shortages in airline schedules are creating bottlenecks. The Greater Toronto Airport Authority is pointing the blame at COVID protocols. The situation at the Toronto Airport is unacceptable. Toronto's mayor doesn't care whose fault it is, he just wants the problem fixed. We should all be sitting at the table together to resolve the issues at the airport and they should be resolved in a speedy fashion. But speedy is not a word many use to describe Pearson International. Whether it's waiting hours at security or being forced to sit on the tarmac or waiting to get through customs. Slow, very slow. <laughs> And once you get to baggage claim, luggage often has to be left in the middle of the room to clear space on the conveyors, which some passengers say are filthy. They're not cleaning them. It's pretty disgusting for someone coming into this country to see all of this. With peak summer travel around the corner, major airports are calling for change. We're not able to facilitate these public health requirements with regular traffic. The two cannot coexist within our major airports. At this point, Ottawa says COVID protocols will remain in place until at least the beginning of July. There's a chance some may be lifted then, but the federal government says those discussions are still ongoing. Omar. All right, Heather Wright at Toronto's Pearson Airport.